say, Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Ruben and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, as the YouTubers say. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for ages, but I've just not had five minutes. Whilst Ruben's in the bath um, with Stephen, I'm going to quickly do a little bit of um, a, an overview of cloth nappies, reusable diapers, whatever you want to call them. Um, as with most things in life, they're you can do it complicated, you can do it expensive, you can really go overboard and that's fine. There are people in groups who will tell you uh, exactly which brands are best, um, you know, who will collect special edition nappies and pay loads of money and that's fine. But I know a lot of people get put off with um, worrying that they're going to be too complicated and when you've had a baby the last thing you want is to do anything that takes any extra time or effort. So I just wanted to do a very quick video, she says, um, explaining how we do cloth nappies. We do it dead cheap um, and dead easy because otherwise, you know, you just add in more to your workload. So uh, the cloth nappies I use, um, I use two types. So the main ones are the pocket nappies. So this is one, this is a little in bloom. Um, so this is the nappy and then you've got a little bear with, oh, balls, have I forgotten the little thingy? So this is um, a pocket nappy, um, and so you've just got an insert which goes inside where the pocket is and you just put them through, et voila. Um, some people um, have asked me before whether you just take the inside out and carry on using the outside. No, you change the whole thing just like a normal nappy. So um, you've got your different poppers here to do different sizes, so you just pop these in. Um, so these should last from birth to potty. We didn't use them when Ruben had just been born because I'd just squished a baby out and it was nearly Christmas and I was trying to get to grips with uh, breastfeeding and lack of sleep. So we didn't use them. Maybe for another baby in the future, we might use them from birth. Um, you do need slightly smaller ones, but we started when Ruben was about six weeks old and the biggest tip, the best tip I got given was just use them sometimes in the house where you get used to them. You don't have to be like, right, we use cloth nappies now um, if you're scared, which we were. Um, so we decided using them every now and then in the house and we got the hang of them and within two weeks he was in them all the time. So, yeah, so his poppers determine the size um, and then these are Velcro ones. So I like the Velcro ones because they pretty much work like a normal, um, like a like a disposable nappy. You just, you know, use the Velcro. But I don't find that they last as long in terms of the stickiness. You have to make sure you stick them. They've got a little tab here. Make sure you stick them together before you put them in the wash, which I'll go into in a minute. So the other, um, another example of a pocket nappy is this one. This one is entirely poppers. Again, it's a little some blooms. Um, there's a few different brands I really like. Um, I like um, Alva Baby. I don't go for expensive ones unless I buy them second hand just because I've found that the cheap ones have worked really well. Um, so yeah, so this is again the same setup. It's got your little pockety bit here and this has got um, three popper fasteners which you just pop her up like normal. Um, these are great because they've got so many poppers, although it seems a little bit daunting, it means you can really tailor this, the shape and size. Um, in terms of getting a really good fit, I'd recommend um, looking on Pinterest for some guides, but because uh, my baby will not lay down and let me show you that. So um, there's that. And then the third type um, are these Bambino Mios. So these are all in one. So they've got the bit here, it's pre-attached, and then you just put it in. So it works pretty much the same as the others. These are a little bit more expensive but I'll do them sometimes on offer and I really like them. They're really good quality, um, really soft and lovely. Again these are the Velcro ones um, and I think they have really nice patterns. So, um, and I mean these are still under £10. If you want to save money cloth napkin, I would definitely recommend um, either buying some second hand, just making sure you have a look and make sure that they're clean, um, or using um, the, the cheaper ones on eBay. It's a bit kind of trial and error. Obviously with all things baby related, some people do want to buy the expensive ones, you know, they do 
um, they do want the really expensive ones and that's fine too but I just wanted to make this video to show you you don't have to do that so how it works is um, we use a few a day the same as you would do with a normal nappy um, if Ruben's pooped and now his poops are a little bit more solid he's currently having some poop issues so they're like little lumps of clay um, we just flick them into the toilet um, some people do things like they, they um, use like a little hosey thing and hose them down but I've not had to do that yet um, so then I will just take the inside out and we've got like a bucket with a lid um, again you can buy an expensive specific cloth nappy bin or on Amazon for like four quid you can get um, a bucket with a bin um, so I put them in there until I've got a load and then I'll put that load in the washing machine um, so the first cycle we'll do is just a basic rinse cycle, so it takes about 15 minutes, it's just a cold rinse um, to make sure the, the stains sort of aren't set on. Um, obviously big blobs of poo you want to flick out, but otherwise it is fine to just stick a poopy nappy in there. You know, if your baby got poop all over their baby grow, you'd, you'd put it in the wash, wouldn't you? So you do that with no softener, no um, laundry detergent, just literally as is. Um, and then after that I will put it on, um, we've got a baby and toddler wash which is basically just quite a hot wash. Um, I don't put it on the hottest, um, I do a, a super hot wash every now and then with them but generally speaking just sort of a, a, a 40 or 60. Um, and then you only use laundry detergent, you don't use softener because that can make them less absorbent. Um, and then I dry them, so uh, I put them in the dryer or I hang them up, it's literally that simple. Um, and then I'll spend some time stuffing them so they're ready to go. Um, I have, or we have, about 20 to 25 nappies. We didn't start with that, but I buy them every now and then. Usually when I'm wide awake feeding and I'm like, oh, I'm treating myself to a fun nappy, because uh, I'm living the dream. So, um, and with that, we wash maybe every other or every third day, so I don't feel like I'm washing all the time. Um, I'd really recommend the nappy lady um, the website the nappy lady you can do like a little quiz where you say what's most important to you is it saving money is it the environmental side is it um, convenience um, you know how often do you want to be washing blah 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 and it weighs up the best type of nappy for you so it, it told us that pockets and all-in-ones were best for us and they were um, so that's basically a super quick look at cloth nappies and I'm always willing to answer any questions. Um, there's some cool top tips that I've picked up from other people such as if um, your uh, if your insert um, becomes discoloured at all, which is very rare, but if they do put them in the sun, the sun will bleach them back to white, so that's really cool, um, you know, if there is sun, which there is sun right now, um, and not just because it's night, because it's England. Um, other things like you can get liners, so um, these are a lot thinner than the insets and they go um, on top of the nappy. So a liner would go here um, and that's, you know, when they're eating solid food and you've got big poops or if you want to boost the absorbency a little bit. So um, there's those um, which are really handy and you wash them exactly the same way. Um, different materials as well for the inserts. It's it's what works best for you and your baby. I really like bamboo because bamboo is naturally antibacterial. Um, you can get charcoal, which is really absorbent. Um, if you get anything that's microfiber, be careful putting it against baby's skin because it can be really drying. Um, and then another thing we do is reusable wipes because, might as well. Um, so I just want to show you our setup for those. Um, so again, you can get Cheeky Wipes, which are a proper name brand and they're, you know, they're dead nice, but they are quite pricey and I think that does put people off. So what I have got is I got, um, I got these flannels, uh, these are baby flannels, which I got from Poundland, for a pound, I think it was about 13 of them. Um, uh, baby flannels are great because they're small, they're light, um, that you know, the perfect size. And then I got these, fun ones with bees and stuff on from TK Maxx, again they were just a few quid for quite a lot of them, um, so this is definitely the money saving um, option. So what I do is I get a few of those, this again is not an official um, box, it is a watertight lunch box from Poundland, came with a set of two, um, so this is one that we take out and about and I've got a bigger one for home, um, I did a lot of testing to make sure nothing leaked. Um, so 
yeah, so you've got this. Um, so I put a few in. If I'm if I'm on it, I'll make them look nice. But otherwise, I just tend to lob them in. And then I just put enough water to sort of um, to cover them. Again, if you look online, you can see exactly how much. But I'm not an exactly how much kind of gal. Um, if they're a bit too wet, you can squeeze them before you use them. But these are the perfect moistness. Um, and you can use these on hands, bums, faces. I've taken my makeup off with these before. Um, they're really handy to have when you're weaning baby because you can wipe high chairs with them and all sorts. I put maybe three drops of an essential oil. I go for uh, tea tree because it's um, like a really fresh scent, it's antibacterial. Um, annoyingly, it reminds me of knit lotion, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting over my fear of that. Um, and then this is it, you just take this out for the day. Um, the other thing that's a really good investment when you're cloth nappy in, um, whether you use wipes or not, is a wet bag. Again, these are like two or three quid. Um, it's got two compartments, so one compartment, um, I sometimes put like wet clothes in, um, or dirty clothes, and the other one I put nappies in. So it just saves, um, basically you carry around a bag of shit all day. Um, it's, uh, and I just wash those when they're full as well. So, um, to summarise, a cheap and easy way to do cloth nappies is, um, buy second hand, um, people sell their, um, uh, sell their collections really cheap, especially if they're like really good brands, um, we got loads second hand. Um, a great thing about reusable nappies is they massively retain um, a resale va value, retain a resale value, um, and also people use them for more than one child, so we're definitely going to keep ours for baby number two, maybe bum move number three, depending on uh, where we get to. Um, yeah, you um, you save a lot of money in the long run, but the setup costs can be a little bit pricey. However, they don't have to be. You don't have to buy the top brands. Um, I personally wouldn't commit to an entire um, collection of one brand if you don't know if it works for you or your baby. It's like everything in life. Some of them, um, something that works really well for someone else won't work well for you, and that's fine. Um, so. I bought a few different brands to see what worked for me. Pocket nappies are super easy. You just shove the pocket in, um, boom, there you go, you just use them like normal. And all in ones, again, you just have the little thing that goes in the pocket. Bish bash bosh, love it. Um, never wash with softener. Um, do a cold rinse, flick some poo off. Uh, do a cold rinse, then um, just like a, quite a hot wash with um, laundry detergent, no softener, and then dry. If they get stained, pop them in the sun, bleach them out, um, make sure you carry enough with you. Um, night times are different, night times need a whole video of themselves, so if you want a night time video, comment below, but it's taking us a long time to practice with that. And then, if you want to do uh, reusable wipes, super cheap, Poundland baby flannels, um, a watertight like a lunchbox, some water, some essential oils. Don't over prepare these because, um, it you know it's essentially a, a soggy box, so, <laughs> so they will um start to smell a bit musty. So I tend to just get them ready for um, the next day or the day after. So I'd maybe use them for forty eight hours, um, but we do a lot of wiping with these, um, and. That's it, that's literally how simple it can be. Hopefully I made it sound simple. Um, thank you to everyone who sent me messages uh, on various platforms asking for advice. Sorry it's taking me so long to do this video. I'm hoping it's helpful. Um, if there's anything I haven't covered that you're interested in, just generally in life, um, let me know, pop a comment in the comment place and um, I'll see what I can do. But yeah, so like it and Subscribe if you want, no, but please do. Okay, bye! Ah! We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big mm. one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest. A big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs>